Welcome back! We have arrived at level 81 of Pit of 100 Tiles. We've just got one-fifth of the set left to do, and we're going to start that fifth off with Follow the Leader. The, chip are, the, the chips are safe spots. When you clone fireballs, let one light the way ahead for you. So basically this level involves just following the flow of the monsters, and there are invisible walls everywhere, and the chips are safe spots, as the hint said. So, I'm just gonna try to uncover as much as I can while still being safe. Unfortunately, though, not every wall in this level is uh, an appearing wall. Because there are some that are going to be permanently invisible, and I want to say, not this one, but there's going to be a room coming up here later on where that is the case. Let's see here. Thankfully, going with the flow does help. Let's just wait right here. Thankfully this level does kind of start you off on simple grounds with the room with slightly more visibility before moving on to the harder stuff. That being said though, it is still very tough. I'm not sure if this is a level that I particularly like for CCLP1. I think I gave it a three in the voting because I do I do think it's kind of enjoyable, uh, but it's just I think it's a little bit frustrating for beginners to really go through with something like this. Socialist action was kind of like this from the original game, and that was that was enough trouble uh, as a beginner, at least when I played the game. Okay, but that being said, though I, I still think this is a very well designed level. Let's see, is this flow immediately available? No. Okay. Let's just be careful and wise, and we will make it through alive, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. But yeah, like I said, there's one room at least where all the walls are permanently invisible. Okay, let's just wait there. Oh man. The other problem is that when you get chips, there's really no way to tell where those safe spots were, so you have to be careful. Okay, here's a here's the room with the permanently invisible walls. This this room's pretty tough. It's not exactly very hard to discern the pattern that the uh, Paramecia are traveling in, though, which is kind of nice. It's full of zigs and zags, but it's kind of a little mm. bit simpler than some of the other rooms. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. And also appreciated, the gap between them is fairly sizable. There we go. Okay, cool. So where to next? Well, let's try... Well, I would go there, except we can't. Hmm. Let's just keep on following the flow, and we'll figure our way around. We haven't seen those fireballs yet, so I'm curious to know how we can get to them. We'll have to come back here for the exit here in a little bit. Okay, let's try this. Use this bug path here again. Wait, this just goes back there. Brilliant, JB. Okay. How to get over there? That's the question. I guess one thing you could do is do what I did just right there and mm. uncover some invisible walls around the ships. And there we go. Let's have one light the way ahead for us here. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, we're almost out. One ship left, really? Okay, where is this? Where is this chip? We've got like two and a half minutes to find it. Well, it's nowhere down here. 
And we've already been through this like three times, so it's got to be somewhere near the beginning, because I don't think I explored the beginning area quite as thoroughly as I should have. Let's... Let's... Oh, here we go. Why did I miss that? That's crazy. Well, thankfully the way back is pretty simple. Alrighty. Almost there. Stay on target. And... Boom. Exit time. Alright, let's move on to automatic caution doors. Red switches will activate the toggle doors for 2.6 seconds. Let's see, so we have to get through these doors. We have to do so before they, they uh, shut off. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so the door's activated, but only for that amount of time. We got a chip here. There's another toggle turnstile, as I'll call it, there, but unfortunately we don't really have the time we need to reach it in two seconds because of that really zigzaggy path. And I just cloned two balls there that canceled each other's button presses out, so that's, uh, that's also something, too. Looks like we can go through these. Now there's a button behind some green doors there, and that's probably going to come in handy when we can uh, retrieve this block later on, because we couldn't do it uh, earlier when we went through the doors there just because of the amount of space. Let's see what we got. We got another button. Ah, we can't get in there quite yet. Well, now that we got that chip, let's try going through that without it. Where does this go? Okay. We got a door in the middle of this open area, and we're back at the start. Okay. So let's see, what does that door accomplish? Well, as you can see right here, it allows this path to uh, be a little bit more quickly traveled. But we can't open it yet. Let's try this again. And run. Awesome. Made it. Okay, we have a key here, but we need to get two more chips before we can get to it. So let's go and take care of that. Where are... Aha, here we go. This is interesting. We got another turnstile here, but we can't reach it from this button unless we can use the ice slide, for which we'll need two blocks to bridge that water. Well, we got two blocks over there. But we need to actually uh, press that, or open that blue door before we can actually get, unlock those blocks. So let's take care of that next. Okay. Yeah, because see, if we went through there, we can't really do anything with the blocks. Mm. Alright. Clear path. Clear path. There we go. Thankfully, there's really no way you can really mess up these blocks unless you just kind of scrunch them together or something. And I need to go around for the other one. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so now we have a clear shot to that. Awesome. Okay, new area now. We need to get this yellow key away from the balls. Deal with this paramecium, and now we're dumped into this area. Let's go ahead and bridge to the blue key. We can't really do anything about the red key, though, unless we could swim to it. But look what we have here, some flippers. Hmm. Wasn't there another area in which flippers uh, could be useful? Mm. This one. Mm. Let's see if we can make it through here. Awesome. Okay, so another new area. More balls to dodge. But we can't go through that yet. 
Weirdly enough, there's a red door down there that doesn't lead anywhere. Well, I guess we'll find out more about that later on. Let's see, for now we got a green key, and I seem to recall a green door somewhere, not there, down over here. This one. And this should let us get to this. Let's see, the fire boots. One thing that I really like about this level is that you can't really mess it up um, if you feel like you're trapped somewhere. There's always a way out, which is really nice. Okay. Now we have the fire boots, so we can go back to this fire area and get to this button, so we can go through here now. Oh boy, some teeth monsters. Well, let's go ahead and go this way. One of them can destroy this. And I guess the other one can just come down here too. We can't really trap it though, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was a silly move. We can just leave it there though. And head back. Hmm, looks like the teeth monster is doing some button pressing for us. And he did it again. Well, let's see here. We saw a red door that led to nowhere over here. Mm. So maybe... Aha! The teeth monster came through for us. And we just have a spirally path to the exit. Cool. Alright, the next level is Chip Compactor. Oh boy. That is... That is not a lot of uh, wiggle room there. I kind of wish we had a little bit more space, but... Uh, it kind of reinforces this level's point pretty well. And thankfully, that's just at the beginning. We got more leniency here. Yeah, like, there I wasted the move. There we go. Why did I do that? That was silly. Okay. Thankfully, the beat is pretty easy to figure out, so as long as you got the beat down, you're good. Alright. Let's do this correctly. Let's not mess this up. Okay, this time, right way. There we go. Eh, eh. The exit is down past this crusher. Okay, so we don't want to go down that crusher yet. Looks like we're going to open up some doors here to increase the distance between uh, button presses. And I'm not going through down there yet. Okay, we can open that up. We do need to go up there yet, uh, just because we haven't been here. Let's stay on the safe side. Hopefully we've got enough blocks for all this. Okay. Hmm. Was that really a wise decision? No, it wasn't. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's get some distance going. We had a lot more blocks. Okay, so now we need a blue key. And there's an area down here that we couldn't get to yet that wasn't the exit area. Good, no more chips left to get. Boom, got it. Awesome sauce! Let's open the socket and exit.
All right, now let's go down past the big crusher. Or the long crusher, rather. Once this thing breaks up. I gotta say, this is a cool concept for a level. I wouldn't mind seeing this in CCLP1. Maybe if the distance at the beginning is increased just a tad. Tangled Web is the 84th level. Hmm. It looks like we need to get... We, this is an item swapper, and we need to get down to the various items, but to do so, we need to trace each path here on this ice slide. So this is the second one, I believe. There we go. Let's see where the blue door is. Okay, that looks like a straight shot on the third final one. Boom. Okay, and yellow. Mellow yellow is fifth to last one, I think. Yes, here we go. All right, and that one is this one. Good, two in a row. Let's see where the fire one goes. There's one that's straight down that's the second to last, and there's another fire over there that is the fourth from the left. Let's do both of these. Always nice when you can do two at once without having to waste tons of time. There we go, flippers, and this leads over here. Good, 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 awesome. Be sure you have all but one ship before you use this block cloner. That is good information. Thank you, Hint. Let's see, here we go. That's a straight shot from number five. There we go. Okay, so now... What was the... I totally forgot. Let's just make sure. That is the third? Third one? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so what does this do? We get a block. I'm guessing we need to take another back with us. Okay, so is there a bomb or something? Yes, right there. And that goes to the last one. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we got some suction, which takes us to fourth to last. Oh, we can't go to the other side through there. That's a bummer. There we go. No chips remaining, which means exits time. Let's just avoid a fiery death and make sure that we got... Okay, it's the first one. That's good. Got the right one. Excellent. Tangled web is complete. Disappearing mazes. This looks pretty simple. Looks like we just need to find the switch to open up these toggle doors. Which is not over here. Or over there. It's this way. This level kind of reminds me of Amazing from uh, Ida 4. And now we got a green door maze. Except in that level, all the mazes were opened up at the same time. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to open them all up for fun. Let's just pretend these are chips. Check, 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 check. Awesome. All right. Now we got some tanks. What are you guys doing here? Let's see. Can we reverse you? Yeah, over here. Let's just see how many we can kill. 
Sweet, this is great. I love watching them go into the water, it's so fun. I bet this would be even better in Lynx. Oh man. Anybody left? I bet there's something left. Let's see, did I get all of them? Not quite. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to go until all of them are dead. This is so much fun. Sweet, only one left. Awesome sauce. Kill it with water! And now for the final maze, the socket maze. I don't know which I like better. This are amazing. It, they're mm. both very interesting maze concepts that involve everything disappearing after you're done. In some ways, this is a little bit more um, beginner friendly just because it doesn't have that blue wall thing, that structure in the middle that you could approach from all the sides of the maze. So I do appreciate that a lot. But on the other hand, it's just so fun to unlock all four mazes at the same time. So it's just... They're both so good, I, I don't know quite know exactly which one I like better. I'd be perfectly fine with seeing either in CCLP1. I feel like we need a level like this. I mean, Strange Maze was so much fun for this this part, the socket removal. Sweet. Laser Refraction. Okay. This is one of the levels in this set that I've never solved. Um, I tried it in Lynx, and it was crazy hard. So basically, what you have to do is you have to direct these fireballs into the bombs. And you get blocks, but not too many though. And there are two clone machines, but they constantly which means that directing them around is crazy. Of course, you can set things up like this, but the problem with this is that if you want to change the course of the fireball stream, and you want to modify something here from the, like any point along the way, sometimes it can be ridiculously hard. Especially in, with Link's timing. I probably was just doing it incorrectly, but I just had such a hard time figuring it out. I mean, it was crazy. The other thing you have to watch out for is you really have to be on the right side of everything. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. See, like this. This is basically 50-50 timing. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but I just don't know what that is. I mean... I think there was also a hint here that just said how many keys there are. Or no, there's not. I think there's eight keys, though. Okay. So let's block this off for now. That's usually a good strategy. And... Let's get you guys situated this way. Boom, boom, there you go. Yeah, 50 50 monster timing is not my specialty, I'm afraid. Whoops, and I just totally botched this up. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have to block this one. Mm. There you go, okay. Mm. Now, let's mm. get you guys down there. Good, awesome, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there with this. This is not so bad, so far. Okay, let's put you... No, really? See, I thought I was on the wrong parody, so I pressed it again because I thought I'd had to wait another move. Ah. This is gonna be a long episode, guys. I can, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be, but I have a feeling, I just have a bad feeling it's gonna be. Okay, let's try this again. It's a great concept, don't get me wrong. It, it's a great concept. It's just kind of a little bit annoying with this timing. Okay, so let's make sure that this is properly situated right there. Yeah. 
and let's just get this well wait a minute here we go except no we can't do that uh there okay go here and now unblock this Now we're going to go around. I do like the openness of this level. Anything that's open is, for the most part, I, I really like open stuff. Very CC1-esque. Uh, let's block this again. Let's do our trick here again. Do we have to use another one, though? I'm hoping I don't have to waste so many blocks. See, the reason why this is so hard in Lynx is because there's this, uh, the, the, it's easier to get the timing wrong in Lynx. Let's go ahead and get some keys here. We haven't gotten our keys yet. One key, two key, red key, and no other keys but the red keys. Okay, we got two so far. There we go. There we go. Alright. We're doing okay. We're doing alright. Alright, so now we need to do this. There we are. Turn it back that direction. Maybe this won't be so bad. I may have just been overreacting. Let's see, let's do that next. There you go. Again, I got the wrong parody, but thankfully I didn't die there. Did I get the one down here? No, I didn't get the one down here. Good. All right. I think that's five taken care of. There's that one key we haven't gotten yet on the left side, but let's go ahead and do that. And then we got to tackle these ones here in the middle area. There we go. Good, good, good. So now we just got three left. Okay, JB, let's just make sure we don't mess up. We're going to need a lot of blocks to make that happen. Okay, tell you what, so let's shut off the uh, the flow for now. Let's just shut it off. Uh, let's do this. There you go. Go that way for the time being. Okay, and for now, I think what I'm going to have you guys do is go this way, and then this define the path going here and then oh, I'm going to have to push a block into there wow I'm going to have to make some sacrifices here I'm hoping I'll have enough blocks this is kind of worrying there we go Okay, will you guys be all right? Yes, good. All right, two dan or two more, two more. I'm sure there's another way to do that, but it's just so hard to figure out what that is, and I just don't see a beginner figuring that out. Hmm. Let's get you there. We need two more. Okay, good. There's more up here. Awesome. That's... I'm sure it'd be faster with this clone machine, but I'd be kind of like to do everything with just one clone machine and not start messing around with that one. Okay, that ought to take care of it. Let us start up the flow. Okay, let's use that block for later because we could use that.
Uh, I don't hear anything. There we go. Did something happen up here? Where are you guys going? Oh. Oh, why did I do that? That's weird. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. From the top. From the bottom, I mean. This way. What? Oh! Duh. Sorry, guys. I'm not quite all there right now. Okay, so you guys go here. Oh, this was the problem. Right. There. That's what it was. Okay. Now. Now let's try it. I totally had it backwards. Or something. Okay, so now I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to do this. Going to get stuff up here. And we're going to figure out a way to carve a path to this area. There we go. I think that should do it. Let's try this out. I'm glad this can be solved with only one of the clone machines. That's kind of a nice touch. There we go. You guys go in there. And now... We get the chip and we can leave. We can leave. We can leave. Laser refraction complete. Alright, well, we'll continue with Irreversible in the next video.